1983, Mary Scholes was 18 years old when a diagnosis of bone cancer changed how she walked. That was when they, they did the above knee amputation. She pursued a career in teaching, got married, and became a mom. But the prosthesis she wore was uncomfortable, and she came to rely on crutches. Mary has an extremely short residual limb. That poses difficulty with being able to uh, fit her with a socket. So Mary has had constant problems. Physicians at Mayo Clinic had a solution, osseointegration. With osseointegration, we're putting an implant directly into the bone. The bone is growing onto that implant, and then the, and then the prosthetic limb actually attaches to the implant. I just felt like it was an opportunity that I had to take. A two-part surgery in 2021 put Mary on track to a more mobile lifestyle. The freedom of just clicking on this new prosthesis and going is just really exciting to me. Her first steps in a new prosthesis seen here in February 2022. I see the future as just me being somebody who is just, I, it sounds weird, but just, you know, walking so much more or riding a stationary bicycle. This is just so cool. Mary's hope is that her journey paves the way for others and to show why it's important to never give up. I think the key is just to let people know that they can have a great life even if they're an amputee, you know, and that there's so many possibilities out there with prostheses and whatnot, and just to kind of keep people motivated to, you know, live, live their best life. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Alex Ositis.